In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take your set from looking something like this to this using a few lights that are small enough to fit into your travel bag so you can achieve this look for your live streams or your videos wherever you go. Now I've set this up with a total of five lights, but one of them is just a practical light or a lamp that was already in the corner of the room. Four of the lights are small lights that I purchased. I'm gonna put links to those down in the description as well and talk about each of those in this video. But before we get into any of that, I wanna turn off the lights and show you what each one of these lights do individually and then show you what they do collectively. So first, let me turn off the lights. The next thing I'm going to do is turn on a table lamp in the back corner of the room. Now that the practical light is turned on, you're probably wondering why it's yellow, and it's because that's the look that I want. I white balance my camera to the key light, and I'm gonna turn that on in just a little bit, but whatever goes on behind me really doesn't matter that much because I white balance for the light out front to make sure that my skin looks good. So the practical light is on. Now let me turn on another light in the background. The light that I just turned on is an Aperture F7, and it allows me to change the color temperature between daylight or a more tungsten look or a more yellow look so I can match the practical light. So I wanted that yellow look behind me, that's what I was going for, and I could adjust that light to match the practical. Now let me add some color behind me by turning on the Aperture RGB light, and that one's the smallest one of all, and it's actually my favorite, and I'll talk about that in just a moment, but first, let me add some color to the background. Now you see what adding a little bit of color does to the background. It really starts to pull everything together. And again, I'm using the Aperture RGB light. And of course, you don't have to use purple like I do. The RGB lights will allow you to use any color that you want. You can use reds or blues or pinks or yellows or different shades of purples or greens. It's entirely up to you. And they can also adjust for daylight colors or I could match that backlight and change it from purple to something that matches the practical lamp back in the corner. Now let's turn on a light I have over here to the side, and this is another Aperture F7. The F7 is what I have back in this corner right here. I am traveling with two of those, and I have one in the corner, and you're gonna see what happens when I turn that on. What the Aperture F7 is doing is it's adding some highlight to my body right here. Alternatively, you could use this as a hair light by raising it and putting it behind you so it puts the light on your hair and on your shoulders and that will help pull you away from a background. So if you're sitting next to a wall or something that's darker by using a hair light or something like this, it's gonna separate you and add some depth between you and the background. Now the only thing that's missing is the key light and that's the light that I've white balanced to. So I'm gonna turn that on right now and pull this all together. And now we have the complete lighting setup. As you can see, the key light completely lights me up. I have my rim light over here to the side, adding a little bit of warmth. I have the practical in the back, I have the corner light, and I have some color in the background as well. That gives me this overall look. Now the key light is a small flexible LED light by a company called Falcon Eyes. I'm gonna put that up on the screen right now so you can take a look at that. I'm also gonna link out to all of these lights down in the description below. But what if you don't want all of these lights? What if you just want one light or two lights? Well, I'm gonna turn all of these off and I'm gonna keep only the key light so you see what that looks like. And I'm gonna do a Another setup where I show you the key light and only one of the little RGB lights showing some purple in the background. So first, let me turn everything off except for the key light so you can see what that looks like. And voila, this is the Falcon Eyes light. This is only the Falcon Eyes light. Everything else is turned off, including the room over here in the distance. This is one light hitting me right here. So technically, you could stream with this. And the room that I'm in is white. It's white tile floors, white ceilings, white walls. So the light is bouncing everywhere. If you were in a darker room, the light wouldn't bounce so much. So it's possible that if my walls were darker and my tile was not white and the ceiling was not white, it's possible you wouldn't even see the background behind me. It's possible that would just fade out to black. So it depends on your room, but this is just one light. You could travel with this one light to light you up. Alternatively, you could shoot in the daytime, open up a window and get the natural light coming in and then use the falcon eyes and turn it down a little bit just to fill in the shadows so you don't have shadows on your face. But this is a one light setup and this actually looks pretty good but let me turn on one light behind to add some color. And we have color. Again, the light behind me is the Aperture RGB light. These are fantastic little lights. Uh, the cool thing about them is there's a magnet on one side, which is really cool, so you can stick it to anything that's metal and it will stick. It also comes with a diffuser, so if you wanted to, I don't recommend using this as a key light, but if you were in a pinch and you wanted to use this as a key light, you put the diffuser on it, and softer light would actually come on you that way. Anytime you have light coming onto you, it's always best to diffuse the light to make it softer. And of course, the larger the light source, the softer the light is going to be. 
Now this two light setup is definitely travel worthy. I've been traveling with it in Mexico. I actually have a couple of these things. They work fantastic. I've used these a lot. I've used them for video. I use them for live streaming. As you can see, they can make a huge difference in how your production looks, be it your video or be it your live stream. They look amazing. And in terms of the battery life on this, you can plug it in. It has an adapter. You can plug it in, but without the adapter, I can get about two to two and a half hours with the battery life on these and the F7s, those actually require larger batteries and I can run those for several hours and there's no problem there. Speaking of, let me turn one of those back on, this light over here on the side. This is a three light setup. So we have the Aperture RGB, we have the Falcon Eyes flexible LCD and we have one Aperture F7 that's just bringing a little bit of a warm glow right here. So this is a three light setup. The three light setup that you're looking at right now, the Aperture F7 is around $99. The RGB light from Aperture is also around $99. And the Falcon Eyes is around $68 or $70. Now you can totally get away with just the Falcon Eyes and an RGB light from Aperture. But if you wanted to add some warmth in, you could get that as well. Now, in terms of the background, you can use practical lights for that. If you have lamps around your home, grab them, set them up. They will look fantastic. Just make sure that you match the colors and you don't have something overpowering. If the light was really bright in the background, this wouldn't work. So make sure that everything is balanced out. This is hard to beat, especially if you're on a budget, especially if you're traveling and you wanna make your live shows or videos look great wherever you are. Maybe you're in a hotel room, maybe you're on the road at a convention. You can take this with you and have a good looking set.